Hey folks, it's King's Drummer here, and it's time for another video. Uh, earlier this week, I bought four new vinyl records, and I'm real excited about all four of them, so I wanted to show them to you and share them with you. And uh, right now I'm listening to the Genesis CD, it's one of my favorite of their studio albums. It's Genesis Trick of the Tale is the name of the CD. The song you hear in the background is called Dance on a Volcano. This is one of my favorite Genesis CDs because it's the first album that featured Phil Collins as a singer. Uh, but he still had Steve Hackett in the band. <coughs> yeah, this, is, this is probably one of my favorite Genesis albums of the 70s. Uh, of course, there's Land Lays on Broadway, there's Winnie Wuthering, <coughs> and there's also um, Selling England by the Pound, but that is one of my favorites. All right, let's get into the vinyl now. Um, these first two records I found at my local store in their dollar bin and I was really excited to find these records because they're in great condition, the co both covers are in great condition and it only cost me a buck, so really, really excited about this. So the first one is Pete Townsend and his record is called White City, a novel. And from the credits in the back of the record, this was actually, this is music that was written for, for a film that was written and is actually starred by Pete Townsend, so he's actually, not only did he write it, he actually uh, acted in it. I am not aware of this movie, I've never seen it before or heard of it, so if any of you out there have ever seen this movie, where this music's from, uh, please leave me a comment, let me know if it was a good movie or if it was weird and you couldn't understand it or whatever, because <laughs> uh, I've never seen it before, but the music on here is really good, I love this record. It has one of my favorite Pete Townsend songs as a solo artist, which is called uh, Give Blood. And it also has the song Face to Face. There's a song on here that Pete Townsend wrote along with uh, David Gilmore from Pink Floyd. The song is called uh, White City Fighting, and it's an awesome tune. Um, Gilmore, usually, when I listen to Pink Floyd and listen to Gilmore's guitar playing, it's usually real psychedelic or bluesy. Not the case quite on this record, the song they wrote together. Um, I really know what what style to call it, but it's definitely uh, not what you would expect from David Kilmore. But it, I don't say it's not good, it's great actually, but just a diff, it just, he has a different sound. And this cover is in really good shape, you know, maybe a little bit of ring wear on the top, both on the front and the back of the record, but, but the, the band, it's a, this cover's in really good shape, and the record's in good shape as well. And uh, it plays beautifully on my turntable, and it sounds great. And I was listening to this earlier today and was having a great time listening to this. I haven't read the whole story in the back yet, but this is a great record. And it has one of my favorite drummers on it, uh, a man by the name of Simon Phillips, who, of course, played on the Townsend Records, but also uh, played with The Who when they reunited in the late 80s and is now the drummer for the band Toto. And he's one of my favorite drummers. He's a powerhouse drummer. He's on the, his drumming's on, featured on this record. And just a delight to listen to. Great, great album. Uh, the second Dollar Bin record for one of my favorite singers who, who scored really big with this record in the mid 80s. And we're talking about Steve Winwood. The album is called Back in the High Life. It was a pretty popular album in the mid 80s that had the song Higher Love. It had also a song called The Finer Things, Back in the High Life Again, and uh, Freedom Overspill. And I spun this one earlier today. And I can honestly say there's not one, there's not a bad song on this record. Uh, why didn't I buy this back in the 80s? I loved every song that was on the radio. I, sh I should have got it. I don't know why I didn't. So, no. so I'm really glad to have it on vinyl. And just like the Pete Townsend record, the the cover is in excellent shape. Well, I wouldn't say excellent. I mean, there's a little bit of ring wear up here. But otherwise, it's in very good shape. Uh, the record is slightly warped, but it still plays really good on my turntable. And it's a, it was a good pickup for a dollar. And Steve Winwood's voice is just amazing. You know, the song Higher Love, uh, Shaka Khan sings backing vocals. And she just has one of those voices that's instantly recognizable so she just stands out on any recording either on her own or as a guest appearance on someone else's record her voice just stands out 
And there's a couple of songs on here that he did with Steve Walsh. And Steve Walsh, of course, plays slide guitar. And I keep forgetting how awesome a guitar player Steve Walsh really is, especially on slide. The guy's amazing. So, so some great music on this album. And, uh, you know, more bang for a buck. All right, this next record did not come out of the dollar bin. I actually had to order this online because my local store just never had it in stock. And I kept asking if they would, and they were kind of stringing me along, but they never it. So I was forced to look for it online, which I don't really buy many records online, but because I like to buy from independent stores, I actually like the joy of going to the store, meeting people, and uh, discovering some vinyl. So, so this one had to be had to be ordered online, but really thrilled to have this record. Uh, the artist's name is Eric Johnson. The name of the record is Avia Musicon. And this originally came out on cassette and CD in 1990. And I've owned both versions. I've owned, I owned it on tape, I've owned it on CD. One of the best records I have in my CD and tape collection. This was re and for the first time, this, this record is now available on vinyl, and it came out about mid-March or so. And so this is for the first time, this album's available now on vinyl. So this is a brand new release. Uh, uh, it's been remastered from the original tapes, and, and it's been pressed on 180 gram vinyl. And it sounds amazing. You know, I spun this. I just got it today. I. Spun I, I gave it a spin on the turntable today, and you know I've heard these songs millions of times on CD, but never have I heard it like this before. It just sounded amazing. You could really hear the bass, the drums just instantly come alive. They don't sound as compressed and as sterile as the CD mix. Uh, the layers and layers of guitar playing, they just sound absolutely gorgeous coming out of my speakers. I mean, it sounds like a completely new record. It's almost like I'm hearing this record for the first time, even though I've heard it hundreds and hundreds of times when it first came out in 1990. So for the first time, it's available now on vinyl uh, since March, and I finally have a copy of it, and I'm thrilled to add this to my collection. And if you're not very familiar, familiar with Eric Johnson, he plays a combination of blues, uh, fusion rock, and kind of cool jazz kind of way, I guess is the best way to describe it on his records. He sings a little bit. There's 11 songs on here and only four of them have vocals or some are instrumental. Uh, but he's a very talented guitarist, not very well known, but I've seen him in concert about four or five times. Uh, one time I saw him in Modesto at a concert at a little club and I got to meet him and he was kind of to have a small chat with me and you couldn't be any more of a nicer guy. Real, real kind, real approachable. Smiled for me, uh, listened to everything I had to say, shook my hand, and uh, took took the time to talk to a fan. And I didn't want to bug him with like autographs or pictures like that. I just wanted to meet the man and shake his hand and thank him for a great show. He just finished his concert and uh, told him how much I loved his music. And I am really. Like I said before, I'm really thrilled to have this in my collection. This is one of my favorite records of all time, and uh, I'm going to cherish this one for a long time. <laughs> I bought another somewhat expensive <laughs> album at my local store, but this one um, this one wasn't that expensive. It was like 17 bucks. Uh, I, I owned a vinyl copy of this. A friend gave it to me. And to, for, for free because he wasn't listening to records anymore. And this is a guy who really does not take care of his records. And I was lucky to think he even played. And I found this at my local store. Saw that it was a remix version, a reissue. And uh, I thought, why not give it a chance? Brought it home, and my mind is blown. <laughs> and we're talking about Jimmy Hendrix. Are you experienced? Got me some Jimmy. And this is a, a remix, a remastered version. They press it on a 180 gram vinyl, and um, it just sounds unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable how good this thing sounds. There's the gatefold. I don't know if I did too much there, but that, there's the gatefold, and some nice rare photographs of Jimi Hendrix there. And this thing just sounds absolutely amazing. Um, 
and when I I've had it now for the last couple of days. I think I've listened to it like four times, you know, in its entirety. <clears throat> and I'm just blown away every time I listen to this. It's it's like listening to it for the first time every time. And the remix on here sounds amazing. It's it's done from the original masters uh, by Jimmy's uh, original producer. And uh, I can't say enough about how awesome this record is. Uh, I've always loved these songs, but when you hear it like this, like it's just like the last record I showed you, it's like hearing it for the first time every time you spin it. it even came with a booklet, a picture book, <coughs> some rare photos, and uh, some liner notes. <coughs> history of Jimi Hendrix, history of his band members. Uh, history of this record and the band <clears throat> and their how it all came together. I really love this package. You know, someone really put some time into this. <coughs> and made a really great collector's set here. I am really thrilled to have this. And um, <coughs> so it's like one of those records. Like, what's the pride of your collection? Well, as of right now, as we say, this and the uh, Eric Johnson record are the, is the pride of my collection right now. <laughs> just thrilled to own all these and you know the Hendrix record just sounds amazing um, You can really hear the band the strength of the rhythm section the drum and bass player and of course Hendrix guitar and this layers over every everything Just sounds absolutely stellar and I was just blown away by the music and the quality of the mix A Huge upgrade over the old beat-up vinyl I got for free <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it folks. Those are the four new records. I uh, got this week and uh, I've been listening to them nonstop for the last couple of days or so, and uh, and I can't I can't say how much I love um, being a collector of vinyl now. It's been amazing, and uh, I can't wait to get more records and share them here online. Well, that's going to do it for me. Um, please watch the videos, comment, give me throw me some likes, and just let me know what you think. I uh, hope to see you all real soon. Thank you.